Yeah, here's a Zenergy journal entry. <laughs> I don't know if I like that light. I think I'd rather have a smaller light. Oh, it doesn't want to work now. Oh, there it is. That's better. Today is the 2nd of May, 2013, and I started my Clean Up, clean up Spencer campaign. And I think I'll make a meta link right now. It'll be cleanupspencer.nodes.org. And I'm uploading videos. I think I got them up, most of them. Let's see. Yeah, clean up Spencer. Let's see what we got. We got one that's 244. File number 244. And then I just do all the rest of them. Yep. And I sent out some email and I went around, picked up some trash, talked to two of the workers for the city who um, were picking up trash and doing the. Well, they weren't picking up trash so much as they were doing the landscaping. And they told me where to go. <clears throat> to find the trash up by the pond and uh, the skate park and along the creek yeah they need to do it you know get the job done if you can if you don't know how to get out you get the job done then resign and let me take your job I know how to get the job done because I'm doing it <laughs> and uh, I think that one of the ways to get it done is to go to the principal and the superintendent of the schools and say, look, when you expel a student, that student needs to go to work in the community cleaning up the town, picking up trash all day long instead of being at school. And it isn't so much that you have to force them to do it, you have to ask them to do it. And you have to explain to them why they should do it. And you have to empower them by giving them the right tools of cleanup trash bags, and pickup device, whatever it is that they need. And then give them a specific area that you want clean each day. Ask them to report to the school, tell them where to go clean up, take out the stuff, and clean up the town. And don't force them. You don't have to go, oh, you must do this or we'll punish you. No, you ask them to do it. And you ask their parents to ask them to do it. We need to start thinking in terms of how to get things done without using money. We're too dependent on money. Every time we turn around, they go, oh, I need more money. we got to tax you more. Enough of this stuff. We need less taxes and more elbow grease, more work. People going out and doing the work that needs to be done. And government needs to facilitate this. It doesn't need to mandate it and put penalties on people if they don't do it. No, it just needs to ask people to do the things that need to be done. Government needs to be the organizing influence for a better community. It doesn't need to do the work all the time. Sometimes it does. I picked out a place today, a creek behind a place where I live uh, in Spencer. It has like steel drums in it and huge pieces of litter that I can't really take care of. I don't have the means. But the city has trucks and they have people to lift containers and things, so they need to do that. That's something for the city to do. But the things that the students can do who are expelled or suspended or whatever, when they get punished, they need to think about what they did. And they need to be less eager to get a day off to watch TV and smoke pot. Come on, let's be frank. That's what they do. When they get suspended from school, they go home and watch TV and smoke pot. This is not a good recipe for a moral society. Come on. <laughs> There's a reason why they got suspended. Oftentimes it's physical violence. You have to pretty much be violent before they'll suspend you, I think. I don't know, but I suspect that's the case. And so these people need to think twice about what they're doing. They need to calm down and they need to work to make the community a cleaner place. And you know what? They're going to feel wonderful after doing that. And people around the community are going to see it and they're going to go, 
I feel wonderful that the, that the whole community is getting cleaner. Everything's getting picked up. So, you know, go ahead, be bad. We need more cleanup. <laughs> and it's a giggle when you look at it that way. It's like, oh, the kids are being bad at school? Well, oh, good. That means we'll get the town cleaned up. Right? You don't have to spend money on this. You don't have to force anybody to do anything. You have to empower people to do the right thing, and you have to ask them to do the right thing, respectfully. And you may need to explain to some people why it's the right thing to do. Right? So you do the explanation, and you teach morality to the, to the students, or, and to everybody, actually. I mean, bring the parents in. Have a conference between parents and the students and the teachers and the principal whoever needs to be in the conference and say okay this is what we want done this area down at Elm and Maple you need to go clean it up tomorrow and the day after that you'll go down to uh, Main Street and uh, Green Street and you'll clean up that area right so that's a two-day suspension and you got two different areas you're gonna clean up and we'll give you the tools and we're asking you to do it we're not gonna force you but if you don't do it you might get three day suspension next time but we know how to play ball here. You want suspension? You get it. You want a longer suspension? You get it. You don't have to do the cleanup, but you do need to get your attitude corrected. Violence is unacceptable. And if you're violent at school, you need to change your mind. If you're violent anywhere, you need to change your mind. So, we need to teach the right values. Peace is a virtue, it's a good thing, it's a value to be taught. I know when I was in New Zealand years ago, they had in their schools peace studies. Do we have peace studies in our school here in Spencer? I don't know. Do we? If not, we should put it there. We should teach peace, because there's a lot of violence going on, and it needs to be squelched. It needs to be put down. It's a bad thing teach the right thing, teach how to be peaceful, how to resolve conflicts without violence. It's not like I'm the guy who came up with this. This is well-known stuff. Just go get it and teach it, okay? Blessings.